Welcome to our show. Today we're talking about leadership. Are you a leader or a follower? Do you have decision making or you want someone else to make the decision for you? Today we're going to talk about leadership and how to become a better leader. After this video, I'll come back and we'll discuss leadership style. Stay tuned. We all want to be successful in life, but you must ask yourself, are you a follower or are you a leader? What I mean by this is followers are the ones that wait for direction and are told where to go in life. Leaders on the other hand are in front of the line, not focused on what's being said, but focused on what's getting done. You have to be able to create a plan, find your purpose, and in the process, keep pursuing your goals, day in and day out, till you know you can't be stopped. Never be satisfied with satisfaction or blended in with society, but having the desire to leave a lasting impression to be remembered and admired. This will make you one of a kind. When someone says it can't be done and the first thing that comes to your mind is how it can, will find others using fear as a reason why they can't reach their full potential. Simply because they are afraid of failing, not understanding this is a process of being successful. To be able to overcome your downfalls, which in return will elevate you past limitations you never thought you could surpass. That's determination. That's motivation. That's the victory inside yourself proving them wrong never using fear as an excuse, just as their opinion. A leader is able to stare fear in the face and say, you are yesterday's problem. So, if you want more out of life, go out and get it. Start constantly thinking of new avenues and different ways to reach what many will say is impossible, because you are possible. A leader will find that inner strength that will push them on their good days and push them even harder on their bad ones. Who do you think will be there to tell you keep pushing? You're almost there, don't give up. When it's your vision of success, remember no one has the same drive you have inside. You will have people in your life saying you are wasting your time. Don't complain about it, be about it. You are not just an average person who will give in to life's hardships, settling for less when you have the perseverance to accomplish so much more. You are in control of your life, so there is no need to break. Once you can figure out this formula, the path will become easier, but the key word is easier. Because if anything is easy in your life, it simply means you're not trying hard enough. When you think you're working hard, work harder. Keep moving forward and become stronger in the process and become a leader, but a leader that doesn't create more followers, but more leaders. Welcome back. So what did you think about the video? What did you think about leadership? I'm sure you realized that there were a lot of examples of you. What really caught my attention is the word fear. It is very interesting how a lot of people do not understand how fear can be an obstacle to a lot of our dreams, our goals, our aspirations. 
A lot of people don't understand how fear can play a damaging effect on our life. Most of the time, people just think that they don't have the leadership style, that maybe it's their personality. Well, I challenge you on that because actually it's the fear that avoids you from having the motivation to set up dreams, have goals, and aspiration to seek for success. It is very interesting because fear has become such a part of our life since we were children that we don't really recognize it as an obstacle. Most of the time, people say, no, I have aspiration, I have goals. But they don't really realize that maybe you do have goals, and maybe you have aspiration, and maybe you do have five-year plan or a 10-year plan. But there is something that happens that avoids some people from reaching their success. Now, what's the difference? Why is there some people, no matter what, they will continue to be successful and reach their goals? And there are other people that live within their fear and they will never achieve what they want to achieve. Of course, the difference is, is the fear. Or the difference is, is that they believed all their lives that they will never amount to something. Think about it. People that are great leaders, they don't worry about what people say. They don't worry about any obstacles. And even when they fail, they try again and again. I mean, think about all these successful people. Have you ever read up their stories? Most successful people have had many falls before they became successful. And I believe that what makes one person different from another person. Good leaders, they know how to set up goals, they lead, they don't give advice, and they don't judge or avoid trying to reach their goals. While followers, they're waiting for someone to tell them what to do. They don't know how to make decisions and they're constantly struggling with believing in themselves. If you truly believe in yourself, then you truly can believe in your ability. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Being a leader, it's about leading. Being a follower is about following. So are you a leader or a follower? After the small break, we'll come back and we will discuss what you should do to achieve the leadership style that you want. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So did you think about it? Did you think about who is the leader in your life? And who's the follower in your life? I'm sure all of you have examples of good leaders. There are a lot of good leaders that are popular, but there's also leaders in our life who have served as mentors. Think about it. What made them good mentors? A, they were confident. B, even when they had fear, they overcame that fear. They taught us to never have an obstacle and to never give up. Think about the mentors in your life, the good leaders, the good examples that have allowed you to have dreams, that have allowed you to have goals, to set your goals, and to never get distracted. Those are the good leaders that support us even when we fall. If you want to be a good leader, believe in yourself. Remember, fear only creates other fears. It creates an obstacle that you will never be able to subside. Think about it. If you have fear, you will always be a follower. And if you want to be a leader, fear should never be your terminology. Remember to always keep it positive.